The year was 2005. 2005 was the first year that I started selling cars. And in 2005, we were selling brand new Chevrolet Cavaliers, Chevrolet SSR, the all new Chevrolet Equinox, the Chevy Tahoe, the Chevy Silverado, all those things that you might have known. I guess over the last 13 or 14 years, I've kind of lost it, but um, I figured starting on Wednesdays, starting right now, every Wednesday, we would kind of do a throwback. I would show you guys a car from the past that I used to get excited about. So uh, we'll call this season one, episode one. Y'all, this is a 2008 Chevrolet Trailblazer SS. And I think I said it inside, but when this car came out, I was so stoked, I was so excited. Like I could not get over how cool of a car this was for back in the day. It was just something that everybody got excited about, something that the dealerships got excited about, something that the customers got excited about. And uh, clearly I got excited about it just because it was unique, it was different. And for its time, General Motors didn't really have anything quite as nice, quite as fast in an SUV. It's pretty awesome. Let's talk about it here for a second. I guess uh, first things first, I just like to apologize because typically when I show you guys a car, it's really, really clean because most of the time I'm showing you guys brand new cars, but typically they're really, really clean. This is not, this is how the guy traded it. It is a little dirty, but for a year and for 135,000 miles, you can tell that he took good care of it. Just uh, just, just a little bit of surface dirt, right? Um, yeah, so 2008 6.0 liter V8 Trailblazer SS. And like I said, back in the day, this thing was the jam. This is what we got excited about. I was like so stoked to sell these things. And even back then, like we had to have certain certifications just to be allowed to sell these. Like no normal Joe Schmo from down the street could just come out and just, just sell one. Like you had to have all the knowledge, you had to have all the product training, and GM actually sent us to go drive these on a closed track back in the day, uh, just to make sure we knew what they were before we got there. Let's look under the hood. Yeah, so really underneath here is where all the excitement came from. <clears throat> Hang on, I need a prop rod, because yeah, this is life in 2008, prop rod. Hang on one second. All right, so it's a six liter V8 motor. And um, back in the day, the Chevrolet Corvette, this was the Corvette motor, but the Corvette produced 405 horsepower back then. This produced 395 horsepower. So like just a beast of a motor when it comes to uh, performance inside an SUV. So you can still put your kids in it and your groceries in it. And then you'd still have the power that nobody knew. It's totally, it was totally like a sleeper vehicle. So again, I think that's where a lot of the, um, a lot of the nostalgia came from from us as salespeople, that's for sure. I'm sorry everything's out of focus. We'll get this fixed here in a second. I think equally as appealing as the motor was the options that this thing had. Um, again, there was like a lot of flexibility, right? You could throw your kids in the back, the groceries in the back, and then still have all the horsepower for whenever all the kids were out of there, right? But back in the day, things were still optional, like rear DVDs. Like we take this stuff for granted now, but rear DVDs. Um, this right here was like a huge deal. I remember when we were selling them, it had rear audio controls with wired headphones, believe it or not. So two people could listen to uh, something different than the driver and passenger. And, um, and again, like the new cars all have this stuff. We know that now, but just for technology and where it was back in the day, like, Again, it's just still still pretty awesome, and I, I um I used to love selling these things, and that's why I like making videos like this because it kind of reminisces a little bit. Let's look at space in the back. So let me talk about the back end of it. Let's open that up. I don't know what all this trash is that the guy had, but still, you're a Chevrolet Trailblazer. Like you would never know that this is 400 horsepower from the factory um, from the back. You can tell it's a little worn, like that's gone. It's it's dirty, like I said. Um, seats, they did a suede inserted seats with the leather. That was part of that 3SS or 2SS package back in the day. Um, they did have a cloth seat option in the 1SS's, but this, uh, this would have been Mac Daddy. This would have been loaded. So just to show you guys, they did SS embroideries on the seats. 
for the driver and passenger. And then the instrument cluster looks slightly different. I need the keys. The instrument cluster looks slightly different than the rest of the Trailblazers. They give you this kind of like sport look. Yep. And then um, navigation, that would have been the same navigation system that was in the rest of the Trailblazers. Dual climate controlled air conditioning. And they did come with an all wheel drive option. This is not, this is just a, uh, a two wheel drive option. And yeah, yeah. So pretty cool. I also know that these things are not dead in the car community. Like there's guys that soup these things up and they're crazy horsepower and then even more sleepers than what they already were. So if you're one of those guys or know somebody like that, just shoot me a comment down below. Every Wednesday I plan on kind of going back in time a little bit and showing you guys a vehicle that I used to enjoy selling or something that's just really, really unique for the year. So every Wednesday, that's what we'll do for the, at least for the next four or six weeks. And uh, we'll make it a little mini series. Tell me what you think. Is this something that you'd like to see down below? Shoot me a comment. Yes, no, thumbs down, thumbs up. My name's Cody Reed. I give you guys three videos a week and uh, it's kind of nice just to break the monotony a little bit of the new car and talk a little bit more about the old new cars. How about that? Cody Reed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I will see you guys on Friday. This is Wednesday already. Can you believe it? I can't. They're expecting snow this weekend and it's 60 degrees today. So I'll leave you guys with the beginning of the video so you can hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you want to check out some of my other videos, they'll be listed over there as well. So have a good day, y'all. See y'all Friday. Deuce.